Cincinnati's certified most accurate forecast. It is quiet tonight, so catch your breath this time tomorrow night. I expect it to be quite noisy across most of the area. Here's a live look from high atop Karoo Tower. It's quiet outside right now. Let's get over to your weather headlines because during the daytime hours tomorrow, you have nothing to worry about. It's going to actually be a pretty nice ending to the week. Warm temperatures, mixture of sun, maybe a few clouds around throughout the day. However, we got a powerful spring storm system on the horizon that's going to push in here and that would eventually will bring us some cooler weather as we head into next week around the metro. It's already a cool night. Many of you have fallen back into the upper 40s already. Mount Healthy down to 48. Oh, it's 50 in Wyoming, 52 in College Hill as low as 48 over there in Lawrenceburg. Right now, officially at the airport, it is 50 degrees. We've got a southerly breeze that's pretty light at this hour. Let me show you what's happening around here tonight. We had some clouds earlier today. Those have pretty much pulled out of here. Now we're keeping a close eye on already. You can see this developing potent spring storm system. This is going to impact millions of folks over the weekend. I'm going to get into those details here in just a second. Outside right now, across the entire region, it ranges from 51 in Hillsboro to as cool as 46 over there in Batesville. So by morning, most of us will wake up to a little bit of a chill in the air in the middle to upper 40s, between 45 and 50 to start out on your Friday. And then tomorrow afternoon, well, it depends on your location. Along and south of the Ohio River, it will be considerably warmer. I think there will be a nice gradient across the region. South of the river, pushing 80. North of the river, as you head up towards I-70, maybe barely making it towards 70 degrees tomorrow. Here in the metro, I think we'll split the middle and let's go with about 74, 75 for a high. Here's a look at Futurecast. It's quiet tonight. During the day tomorrow, we'll have a mixture of sun and clouds. It's fairly quiet. As the sun goes down tomorrow night, a strong warm front is going to lift up towards the Ohio River. And boy, when you talk about spring, the atmosphere can really gear up in a hurry. Watch what happens tomorrow evening as showers and storms basically explode across the area and develop. And I'm expecting what will probably be quite a busy night in terms of overall thunderstorm activity, the potential for heavy rainfall. There's a there is a threat for severe weather in there tomorrow. It's not incredibly large, but it's more of the variety of maybe a wind and hail threat with some of these storms across the area. Here's 10 o'clock and then notice this will basically go off and on throughout the night tomorrow. Then as we get into Saturday, I do think we'll probably start with some wet weather early on Saturday, but there will, seems to be a break in the rain early Saturday afternoon. Now let me take you up towards two o'clock. Of course, that's when UC's commencement is. I'm still fairly confident that we're going to be pretty much rain free during the afternoon and early evening hours on Saturday as the bulk of the rain should be to our north until another complex of storms rolls in here heading into Saturday evening and Saturday night. So it is going to be a very tricky forecast. This storm system will be parked out to our west for the majority of the weekend, but we will be right along this frontal boundary that will serve as a focal mechanism for showers and storms to roll across the area. What we do know is the fact that severe storms are likely over the weekend and the potential for localized flooding is a pretty high as well. The two time frames that I've really highlighted here Friday night into early Saturday morning and then into Sunday. The problem is it's going to be really difficult until we see these complexes of storms develop to pinpoint the exact time that they will arrive. So pinpointing the exact time it's going to rain in your neighborhood is going to be almost impossible heading into the weekend. A lot of now casting is going to take place, but I do want to show you this computer model here because while this isn't etched in stone, I certainly think this is going to waver as we go through the next 24 hours. This is a good sign though that a soaking is coming to the area and the potential is there for many of us to pick up a couple of inches and by that I mean a widespread one to three wouldn't be surprised to see someone with as much as maybe two to four inches of rainfall by the time we're all said and done Sunday night. So it is going to turn quite stormy 49 for tonight. So no problems underneath mostly clear skies and then tomorrow partly cloudy, nice and warm 75. Here's a look at your day planner 49 to start at 8 a.m. close to 70 by lunchtime. So enjoy the sun tomorrow while it lasts. Here's your seven day forecast. It's not going to rain all weekend. The problem is that it will come in clusters and bunches, and when it does, it will rain hard at times. Matter of fact, I think a good deal of our Sunday will be dry into storms move in Sunday evening, which will likely be strong to severe. We could see temperatures in the mid 80s Sunday afternoon. All right, Kevin, thank you. Next is